Good day everyone. Well, I thought I'd do a video about um, light switches and um, how they wire them up. Um, this is a crappy drawing that I've done on paint. And um, I'm using a tripod, so you'll have to bear with me. Now I'm just going to bring this camera forward. This is an overview of the circuit. Um, this represents the um, switchboard. This represents the um, a bat, just a normal baton fix light socket, such as this one here. Um, this is a HPM, don't care about the series. Um, this represents the light switch, if you had it that way around. Actually, that way, technically. Um, it's just a new light switch I bought for the, for the house. Nice new shiny thing. Um, I've had a few friends and stuff over the years ask me how light switches and baton fix lights are wired up these days because they are different to the way they used to wire them up um, say 20 years ago <coughs> and um, so I've drawn a because there's really not too many other ways to explain it I've drawn a, I've drawn a nice crappy diagram bring this camera back a little bit so what do we have here well the first part of any circuit in a 240 volt installation has to start at the switchboard. Um, you know, you've got your um, your earth, your neutral, and your active. Now, the way they wire up um, lights these days in houses um, is that they um, start off with the um, active, which goes to a loop terminal here. Uh, and the loop terminal is not electrically connected whatsoever to the light fixture. Secondly, you have your neutral, which connects to one of the um, poles of the um, light fixture. So, not enough bloody light here, speaking of lights, but, you know, like one of the contacts in the light, neutral goes to one side of it. Um, when you turn a bat and fix light, fixture over, um, you're presented with four terminals. You have two unlabeled terminals, you have one called loop or L, and you've got one called E for earth. Now technically this is a double insulated light fixture. It can't be earthed, but it has a, t it has a position, um, not that the bloody lights couldn't, oh yeah there we go, it has a position for the earth um, terminal and what you're going to notice is that the loop terminal and um, the earth terminal are the higher of the four terminals and they're all sort of at slightly different levels. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, these ones look like they're recessed in for... but it's not protection because... anyway I'm going to explain. So anyway, your earth um, wire just goes to the earth terminal on the fixture. Now, when you put in multiple light fixtures such as we have one, two, three in this room. You just simply jump. You, you just simply jump the wires, the, the three conductors to the next um, fixture along. So it makes wiring up very, very quickly. Uh, very, very quick, I should say, and um, very straightforward. Um, it also means you there's a lot less stuffing around at the switch end. Um, apart from the tripod, good stuff. Bear with me for a sec. So anyway, what do we have and how do we wire it up? Well, you, like I said, you, you wire up your, um, your earth to the E terminal. Neutral goes to one of the poles of the um, light fixture. And the active wire obviously doesn't get connected to the other pole because that would make switching the light fixture off impossible. I'm going to point with a screwdriver because I reckon that mouse thing's crap. So you've got your um, you you've got your earth going to that um, E terminal. You got your neutral going to the, just one of the one of the um, poles of the um, light fixture. And they're not labelled, they don't have to be because they're both electrically identical and the globe can go in either way because um, it's a 
it's a bayonet light fixture like we use in Australia and the active wire actually goes to the loop terminal now the loop terminal is the equivalent of say an insulated um, connecting lug like you know your screw terminal lug it's not connected to the light fixture it's just there to simply connect more than one wire together so anyway your um, active continues down to the switch so this is actually a separate wire you'd have a two pair conductor you'd have um, a white and red now in Australia it is illegal to use um, a black or a green wire as an active you have to use um, preferably if it's a switched wire in light circuits they generally use a white conductor to, um, and that generally means that the, that the conductor is switched and not um, not a conductor that's always live but you can't take anything for granted can you um, to wind it up because this stupid battery is going flat anyway your, um, your active continues down to the um, switch the switch has a terminal called common now common um, connects to a little plate inside the switch and when you flick it whichever way you flick it um, let me review the terminals you've got common loop terminal number one and terminal number two which may or may not be labeled um, your active goes to the common terminal and depending on which what position the switch is in it's switching common between either terminal one and common or common and terminal two now terminal two generally has a plastic x through it which i've put a red x through it to represent that it's normally blocked off that makes wiring up a lot more simple because you can't confuse it with a loop terminal for example now the loop terminal in this case is not used loop terminal was there for an older installation where you had the um, active and neutral going to the switch this is how they used to do it um, and it's just messy and often not enough room um, behind the um, light switch for all the wires so you gotta kind of force them in so anyway you have your outgoing um, cream coloured wire which doesn't show up that well on the camera um, from terminal um, switched terminal one going back up to the light fixture that's really all there is to it these terminals and the light fixture represent the two poles of the um, light fixture so active and neutral and um, the light switch just has two wires going to it that's that um, switch active pretty much all there is to it so when you go to change a switch all you really have to do is just deal with two wires now if you've got a second switch all you generally do is have a jumper wire going from this common to the common of the switch next to it likewise you could wire three or four switches up in the same way um, this is not a how-to video for wiring this is just merely knowledge that I've got that people may or may not be interested in um, and my appalling drawing skills um, yeah let me know what you think as a side note if you're going to do work on electrical circuits there's a couple of things you really should keep in mind verify your test equipment against a known live um, conductor if you're working with 240 volts preferably 240 volts um, use a ground reference or earth reference stake um, don't assume that anything is neutral or anything is earth because it may not be because some you know some dickhead might have been working on the house and buggered it up at some point um, lockout tags you can buy them from middies data and electrical um, any good electrical store they just go through the little hole on the breaker um, some lockout tags and um, that way you won't die um, verify the circuits dead with the tester and lock it out so no one can switch it on and fry you um, secure terminal ter uh, terminations I should say se secure terminations um, give them the tug test all should be well don't work on your own stuff because you'll void your insurance if your house burns down and they won't pay you um, but if you don't care or you're not insured and I guess as long as you don't die or die in a fire there's probably no harm in it too much um, 
so there's probably nothing I can really think of that I'm leaving out. The safety thing, like I've heard Aussie 50 talk about that, you know, I, I don't often go into it in, in daily life, let alone on YouTube, so I, yeah, you know, it doesn't take very long to go, to go over it um, in, in a video. I'm not going to do this electrical safety thing for every video, but this is just one I'm doing. Um, yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Verify it's dead. Verify the test equipment before you bother using it to verify anything's de-energised. Um, treat everything with care. 240 volts, you know. 240 volts RMS, it's 300 and a bit peak, so, you know, you're dealing with up to 300 volts. Um, you know, really, you don't get a second chance, so there's, like, probably 8 or 10 amps available at the active terminal on the light switch or the fixture, so um, isolate yourself from ground. Um, you need a fiberglass ladder if you're working on electrical stuff um, and you have to climb a ladder. Rubber soled shoes. Don't lean on a metal component of any kind because it's probably earthed. Make sure your hand um, isn't resting on a neutral or an earth terminal. Just keep that in mind because it's pretty important stuff and you don't really get a second chance, so um, you know, I mean, I've been working on 240 volt stuff and television sets since I was, um, you know, seven years old. So, yes, I have been zapped, but I'm still here. And the reason why is because I always isolate myself from ground or neutral. I'm not saying it's going to save your life, and you should never disrespect electricity. Never assume that any of this safety stuff's going to save you from stupidity. You know, if you if you think you're safe just because you've isolated yourself from ground or neutral then you're wrong and the chances are you'll probably die don't use pliers to short circuit terminals to de-energize the circuit um, now I know that qualified electricians sometimes do resort to such a practice um, in massive factories and things where they just can't find the breaker or the fuse you're not in a factory, you're not qualified, don't do it um, turn the breaker off um, by hand Use your multimeter to verify it's dead. You got all the time in the world to um, to test it and turn things off, and really, it's a house. How many breakers has it got? So, yeah, I don't want to crap on about safety for too long, but you know, I I can't possibly, even if it's even though this is only for educational purposes, because um, people may or may not be interested in this um, academically. I still can't in good conscience essentially give you a diagram how to wire up you know light switches and stuff and then not give you some safety information because that would be irresponsible of me um, show 240 volts the same respect you'd show 200,000 volts because you know yeah you don't get a second chance anyway thanks for watching